what's up guys it's Beastrol uh, welcome back to another video a uh, couple months ago I did an unboxing of this uh, keyboard right here the CM Storm Devastator uh, it was a keyboard mouse combo and uh, it was around 30 bucks and it was a, it, it's a pretty good keyboard um, however it's not mechanical that's the only problem that I had with it and uh, it, it still put up pretty good uh, it definitely allowed me to have a nicer uh, more fun gaming experience but it's time for me to upgrade to uh, a mechanical keyboard. This is a membrane keyboard, but it's pretty much the closest thing to uh, mechanical as it is. But I'm going to be upgrading my uh, keyboard now. I uh, just bought a new one uh, about a week ago, and it just shipped in. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I apologize for my voice. It's going to be a little bit tired, I guess, because I just woke up this morning, and I just checked the uh, front door, and this thing came in. So pretty cool. So you can see the box pretty nice one thing I will say is that the box that it came in this thing is huge let me try to back up a little bit this is the box comparison pretty huge it's a good thing it had some bubble wrap in it so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing this thing if I can figure out how now I'm I like to keep the boxes safe and uh, not destroyed so I'm still gonna try to do this as fast as I can and not like last time I'm gonna have to use my scissors again uh, there we go, and I think that's the only one. Alright, so, we're greeted with this little nice packaging. Uh, I do believe this is the keyboard right here. Let me go ahead and grab this thing out. Uh, it looks like the cable's in the back. We'll grab that too. This is braided cable. That's something new. That's cool. We'll set that aside got some paperwork over here and I do believe that's it what's this oh that must be the key puller right here in a little tiny plastic bag I'm gonna go ahead and set this uh, keyboard aside and we'll put that right there no problem all right so we got this little manual I guess it's a little quick start guide I mean it's a fucking keyboard who gives a shit all right so here we are this little nice compact keyboard this isn't 10 keyless uh, this is actually it has the um, number pad but the it's missing the arrow keys the arrow keys are actually built into the number pad and you can uh, switch them out uh, that's one of the features that I like about it I like to have all of the keys uh, just whenever I need to use them I can have access to them uh, looks like we got some tape over here on the back I could just rip it off but you know what fuck it close enough all right so we're going to go ahead and pull this keyboard out and here we go first impressions smells weird <laughs> but definitely going to like this this is the uh, cherry mx red version uh, it was on sale for around uh, 83 bucks i do believe got on amazon and came with free shipping because it was over uh, 35 dollars so it's pretty nice um here the keyboards compared uh, against each other. Here they are right beside each other. You can see that this thing is much smaller than the, um, the Devastator. Uh, these are both uh, by CM Storm, Cooler Master. So uh, I do like the brand. But over here you can see the slick design, uh, the sound of the Cherry MX threads. I'm going to be using this mainly for Osu, but yeah. As for this keyboard, I'm probably going to give it to one of my friends or something. I can't be bothered to do all that giveaway shit and, this and ship it out. I'm, I'm too late to do that shit, so I'm just going to give it to one of my friends or one of my brothers or something. I don't know. But uh, you can see it does not have the arrow keys, but they are built into the number pad, if you can see right there. So I do believe uh, one of these keys, probably the number lock, uh, you know, uh, toggles between them, so that's pretty cool. But uh, very small keyboard, uh, I will say. Uh, this allowed me for some a nice room for my mouse because my mouse does get a little bit crowded uh with this keyboard so that's an awesome and this does have a backlit i just need to plug it in uh because right now my uh devastator is still plugged in so yeah i'm going to go in and quickly do that and i'll meet you guys there all right so here we have the keyboard uh it's all plugged in and we have the led on right now so to toggle between uh to turn it on or off the backlit just press uh function f1 that'll turn it on and off give you guys a close up over here uh, this is what the backlit looks on uh, looks like when it's uh, completely on. Uh, then, if you guys want to uh, toggle between the different options of the backlit, you can press uh, Function F4. Uh, that'll go into a breathing mode where it just slowly uh, gets brighter and then darker. 
and you can go into gaming mode which just uh, has the WASD keys uh, I don't really like this mode but well it's there so and I can turn it uh, brighter or darker by using F2 and F3 along with function and uh, yeah I'm not going to give you guys a full review of this shit you guys can figure that stuff on your own by searching it up on YouTube I'm not going to be that professional unboxing guy or whatever but yeah just want to say I got a new keyboard uh, pretty nice I like how I like the feel right now but uh unfortunately for the CM Storm Devastator that's gonna have to go